Hey everybody, welcome back to Jake's World. Today's episode is gonna cover the final details of this back wall, some anchor points, some gas struts on our door, and the final pieces are coming together. Hey, watch this. What? Working on these uh, tie-down locations for the back of the camper and this is kind of a rough draft of what I'm thinking. Three quarter inch plywood like uh, most of the other ones. We're gonna insert an eye bolt through the edge of that and this is gonna recess into the back panel here. So it'll have a lot of strength because it's where a lot of angles meet. We are tied out points. I'm gonna cut a couple eight inch squares on a table saw. It's a manky piece of scrap. But it'll do. I've always wanted to upgrade the fence on this saw. There's no reason you should have to check both sides. I mean, come on. Hey, Kitty? What are you doing? What are you doing? Where are you going? Where are you going? Hey, stop to What are you doing? Hey, Dale. What are you doing? You're a good boy. Yeah. <laughs> this little spider friend even came out to say hi. Don't eat him. We can use this to lay out our half inch radius. I am gonna break all of these corners off like this. Blah, blah, stress points and things. This will just make me feel better, I think. So I'm an idiot. Uh, we cut that on the table saw, but due to the overcut, we got this nasty sharpness. You know, we really were going for this sweeping radius. So we're gonna go ahead and make up a new blank here. Got a little lost in the sauce there, but I'm bringing you back. Part of me wants to go over there and take that up pretty quick, but I think by the time you're spreading this stainless eye, you've definitely torn this through the fiberglass. You need to cut these pockets. So we'll be doing that next. Ta-da, just cut that out, it's easy. Open them up a little more. Pretty damn close. As is tradition, we got just two little spots here we need to sand. Uh, these other areas have fuel ply on them, so they're ready for a bond, but we're gonna sand this raw glass on each side up, I don't know, that far, so. And resist. Off camera, I uh, welded up the split in these guys. Little 309 L rod and some uh, DC TIG. All right, with some final fitting and uh, fooling around here, I think I'm pretty happy with how these are gonna end up. Oh yeah. Look at these bad boys bonded on. Real messy operation we got going on here. I guess I could have not coated one side. That was kind of dumb, huh? Whoopsie. Whatever, we're here now. We're gonna let those soak up some of that epoxy and we're gonna mix the rest of this into some stiff micro. Bring it back. We gotta mix extra stiff here. When I say that, this is what you want. You don't want it to fall off, I guess. Thick. Thick. We're just gonna smear this gap up. It's a pretty tight fit up, so I think most of this is probably gonna squeeze out. We're gonna go on the lighter side. A little more squeeze out than the other side. Never hurt anybody. Squeeze, though. Oddly satisfying. And this part just feels wrong. And we're gonna leave this all messy like that. Tomorrow we're gonna have to sand it back, get it ready for glass anyway. So uh, that'll give us an opportunity to 
get things a little more flattened out and smooth. These things turned out great. Went ahead and uh, sanded them with some 80 grit so they're ready for glass. And uh, I'm already really happy with how perceptively strong they are. I mean, this, this isn't any amount of force, but gives you hope. We're gonna get some glass thrown over the top of these guys. Our uh, hinge hard point there at the top, around the box, the uh, skin of the door and uh, its upper hard point. It went surprisingly well. We've got uh, two layers over most of this. We've got an additional layer up here at this hard point that's about 12 inches wide. That'll throw some of that load down that way, if you will. Down that way. We left this edge loose again. We're just gonna trim that uh, after everything's cured out. I'm kind of curious how empty is empty. We're uh, zeroed out here. I'm gonna let this drain See if we can get just one more ounce out of it. Uh, 0.7, so three quarters of an ounce. It's almost a full batch. Mixing, 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 mixing. A little rear hard point work. Living life dangerously here with my thumb exposed. Kind of weird to be doing these uh, smaller layups now. Used to be, used to, uh, Doing pretty large square footage. These little tiny ones don't take any time at all. I spend more time thinking about them than I do uh, actually completing it, I feel like. This first ply just uh, mirrors the same size as the hard point. This is called stippling. You can't really drag this brush on the cloth or you'll distort the weave. This motion uh, kind of works the air bubbles out, works the resin into the individual strands. One thing you can do is kind of roll the brush on and off of uh, your part. That'll keep the glass in place right where you want it. We're going to bias this piece in the direction of our anchor point. I haven't been doing much of that throughout the project. This seems uh, logical to me, so we're doing it. We're doing it! Probably shaking you all the shit with my stippling here. I didn't even think about that. Final piece is gonna be this big boy. And we forgot to, uh, look at this. We forgot to prep that right there. We're gonna do that real quickly. The entire airplane community is recoiling in horror right now. Put, put, put the dust, Jake! Go on, boy, get! Where's your ball? Hey buddy, relax. Oh man, you're killing my feng shui here. Prentice being a real asshole right now. I like that this is a little resin heavy. That'll make it sand back pretty nicely and uh, hopefully we've got all that weave of the cloth buried. Time for a new pair of gloves. Help me! That's super satisfying. Ready? All right, that knife trim gave us a nice, clean, consistent edge. 
We'll put the final polish on that with the uh, sander, some 80 grit. I'm gonna do some welding on these hinges this morning. I'd like to get these installed today and check out my sweet welding setup here. Hello! Oh, the things I do for YouTube. Off camera, I did a whole bunch of sand and get this stuff ready to bond. Went ahead and reinstalled the hinges just so we can uh, make sure everything's gonna fit right before we bond this back wall on. As you can see, our gap between this back panel that we're gonna bond on and the back wall here is a little out. Uh, the error comes from this section on each side. So I'll take a sander and true that up. Look out, crazy dog. Pink dust. That got everything cleaned up pretty nice. Let's go ahead and test fit again. Didn't know the door had a kickstand mode. Oh, oh, I just swapped out the uh, 10 pound struts I had on there with the 45 pounders. I'm honestly a little afraid to fold this thing up right now. Holy shit. Feels like a loaded bomb with those 45 pound struts in there. It's gonna fling up and hit me in the chin. We're all set up to bond on this rear panel. Our uh, tie down points are already coming in handy. We've got a ratchet strap running all the way around back to this side. That just gives us a little pressure that way. And I've got a couple spacers to kind of fix this door gap a little bit. Just tweak it just the slightest. I'm gonna mix up some micro now and we'll get this going. think about being able to reach the inside so it's kind of a mess we'll just sand that back before we do that interior glass also I panicked to put this upper strap on we couldn't get this uh, top part even with the bottom for some reason but it seems to be looking good now that's gonna do it for this week's video I am super oh. stoked oh my gosh I'm gonna get you <laughs> go get it that's gonna be it for this week's video. I am super stoked to see how some of these final details are coming out. Uh, the tie downs are awesome. The hinges and the gas struts, I mean, completely make this back door. There's very limited fiberglass left to do. Uh, basically tape the seam of this rear panel and the roof seam all the way around. I'll probably add that footage into the beginning of next video, which will cover painting the exterior of this thing. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Oh, God. Ouch. Get to the 
tongue that seeks the lips, the tip of the tongue that seeks the lips. The quick brown fox jumped over the lady dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lady dog.